गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस कंटिन्यू विद द पोएम तानसेन इन पार्ट वन वीडियो वी कंप्लीटेड द वार्मिंग अप एक्टिविटी इन पार्ट टू वीडियो लेट अस लर्न व्हाट पोएट हजरत इनायत खान विश्ड टू कन्वे थ्रू दिस नैरेटिव पोएम चिल्ड्रन द पिक्चर ऑन दिस स्लाइड शोज द मीटिंग ऑफ एम्पर अकबर तानसेन एंड हिज गुरु स्वामी हरिदास तानसेन द सिंगर इन ग्रेट अकबर कोर्ट वन ग्रेट रिनाउन थ्रू द बादशाही फोर्ट तानसेन हु वॉज वन ऑफ द जेम्स इन अकबर कोर्ट वन ग्रेट रिनाउन रिनाउन मीन्स फेम He got name and fame through the Badshahi Fort. Badshahi, this word origins from Roman Urdu, which means monarchy. Monarchy means a country or kingdom ruled by king or a queen. In this couplet, the rhyming words are court fort. His voice rang like the sound of silver bells. and akbar ravished heard the story tells the story tells us that tanseen's voice rang like uh, silver bells through the badshahi fort this means his voice was so melodious akbar ravished heard ravished means fill someone with intense delight recapture fascinating akbar felt a tremendous inner joy when he heard it in the line his voice rang like the silver uh, uh, rang uh, like the sound of silver bells there are three fi- figures of speech simile tanseen's voice is directly compared to a sound of silver bells to sound of silver bells onomatopoeia sound producing word rang is used for poetic effect and alliteration the sound of letter s is repeated pleasingly the rhyming words are bells tells the story tells what does it tell story stories tell us how the king praised him admired him gave him many a gem means rewarded tanseen with jewels and called him the chief jewel in his diadem means crown a jewel crown or headband worn as a symbol of sovereignty gem means a precious stone in the line how the king praised him gave him many a gem the figure of speech is repetition the word him is repeated for poetic effect only one day the singer sang song of fire the deepak rag and burning like a pyre one day tanseen sang the song of fire the deepak rag with such intensity that his body burst into consuming flames like a pyre pyre means pile of wood used for cremating a head a dead body his body temperature increased so much that it was not easy to uh, get back to normal in the line called him jewel chief jewel in his diadem the figures of speech used is metaphor indirect comparison is done between tanseen and the chief jewel one day the singer sang the song of fire the figure of speech is alliteration sound of letter s is repeated for poetic effect Uh, and in the line one day the singer sang the song of fire the deepak rag and burning like a pyre the figure of speech simile is used the heat generated in the body while singing deepak rag is directly compared to the flames of pyre 
Rhyming words are fire, pyre. Uh, in the line, one day the singer sang the song of fire. The figure of speech is alliteration. I told you this before. Okay. Now let us move on to the next one. His body burst into consuming flame. To cure his burning heart, a maiden came, and sang Malhar, the song of water cold, till health returned and comfort as of old. Mighty thy teacher must be and divine. Great Akbar said, "Magic indeed is thine." Learnt at his feet, then happy Tansen bowed and said, "Beyond the world's ignoble crowd." uh let us focus on these couplets to cure tansen's burning body and heart a maiden came that is an uh, that is unmarried girl or young girl came and sang song malhar and sang malhar the song of cold water till his health returned to normal as before maiden is an archaic word his body burst into consuming flame the figure of speech used here is alliteration his body burst into consuming flame the sound of letter b is repeated pleasingly to cure his burning heart a maiden came in version the correct uh order is a maiden came to cure his burning heart and sang song and sang malhar the song of water cold here also the figure of speech is alliteration where uh, sound of letter s is repeated to enhance the beauty of the poem rhyming words uh, flame came cold old let us uh, continue with the poem his body burst into consuming flame to cure his burning heart a maiden came and sang malhar the song of water cold till health returned and uh, comfort as of old uh, children uh, this we have learnt in the previous side let us see uh, and continue with the slide mighty thy teacher must be and divine great akbar said magic indeed is thine learnt at his feet then happy tansen bowed and said beyond the world's ignoble crowd scorning its wealth remote and far away he dwells within a cave of himalay children mighty means very strong or powerful thy is archaic word means your the thy teacher your teacher divine means god like heavenly indeed means in fact in truth thine is archaic word thy is archaic word thine means yours Akbar told that his teacher must be really mighty means very strong or powerful and divine god like for tansen to have learned such magical music at his guru's feet tansen bowed happily and said that his teacher lived in a remote cave far away in Uh, far away from where other people live in the himalayas uh, and other people they are away from himalayas and his uh, guru he stayed in himalayas not uh, near the uh, hustle and bustle of the people near the crowd rejecting uh, earthly wealth
could I but see him once desired the king, sit at his feet a while and listening, hear his celestial song, I would deny my state and walk in the robes of poverty. Emperor Akbar asked if he could meet Tansen's guru just once. He was even ready to forget his position and walk in the clothes of a poor man, disguised himself as a poor man, hide his identity if only he could sit at guru's feet and listen to his heavenly song. Then said Tansen, as you desire huzur, indeed uh, it would better as a slave poor and poor to come for he lifted above the things of earth disdains to sing uh, to earthly kings. Then said Tansen, as you desire huzur, now in this line Tansen accepted the king's desire and said that it would be better if the king went as a poor slave because his teacher was above all worldly things. He did not think that earthly things were worthy enough for him to sing for them. Long was the road Long was the road and Akbar as a slave followed Tansen who rode towards the cave. High in the mountains at the singer's feet they knelt and prayed with supplication sweet. Towards thy shrine, lo, we have journeyed long. O holy master, bless us with thy song. The road was long and Akbar as a slave followed Tansen towards the cave that was located high up in the mountains. They knelt at the Guru's feet and humbly requested him to sing a song for they had journeyed a long distance towards his abode. Abode means a place of residence where he lived just to listen to his heavenly song. In the line, long was the road and Akbar as a slave followed Tansen who uh, rode towards the cave. The figure of speech is inversion. The correct order is the road was long and Akbar as a slave followed Tansen who rode towards the cave. In another line, they knelt and prayed with supplication sweet. Here also the figure of speech is inversion. It should be they knelt and prayed with sweet supplication. Uh, the line, O holy master, bless us with thy song. The figure of speech is exclamation. This sentence is written to draw greater attention. In the next uh, part, we will do the remaining explanation of the poem.